How to connect a subwoofer in a whole house audio system. Most whole house audio systems make use of in-wall or in-ceiling speakers for the reproduction of sound. In some cases, you may want to supplement the bass response in a given room with the addition of a subwoofer, whether it be the in-wall variety or a more traditional cabinet style subwoofer. In this video, we will show you three ways to connect an HTD subwoofer to your whole house audio system. In all of these examples, we will use Zone 1 of the Link 6 system. However, this will work with any zone on any of our mid-level or Link systems. The first method that we recommend is also the easiest. Start by connecting a set of RCA cables from the variable output from Zone 1 on the audio controller to the global input labeled N1 on the upper left hand corner of the back of the amplifier. You will need to make sure that the source input switch on the amp channels assigned to Zone 1 are in the 1 position. Now take a second set of RCA cables and connect the OUT1 on the amp to the stereo input on the subwoofer amplifier marked LFEN XO Active. If you are using the MCA66 with the integrated amp channels, you will take the zone output from the MCA66 directly into the stereo LFE input on the subamp. Be sure to set the variable fixed output switch on the MCA66 to the variable position. The second method is very similar to the first and can be used if there are no global inputs available on the 12 channel amp or if you are using a separate subzone amplifier for a room. Start by connecting a pair of RCA male to two female Y adapters to the variable output of zone 1. Now use a standard RCA cable to connect one side of each of the Y adapters to the line input of the individual amp channels assigned to zone 1, just as you would in a basic installation with no subwoofer. Now use a second RCA cable to connect the remaining two sides of the Y adapter to the stereo input on the subwoofer amplifier marked LFE input XO active. The third method you would typically only use if you simply do not have a line level or RCA output available to connect to the subwoofer amplifier. In this scenario, the subwoofer amplifier will be placed in line between the amplifier and your speakers. Take the speaker level output from the two amp channels assigned to zone 1 and connect them to the top green wiring harness labeled amplifier input on the back of the subwoofer amplifier. The harnesses are removable for easy connection of the speaker cable. Once the speaker cable is connected to the harness, you can insert the harness back into the subamp. Now connect the speaker cable that runs to your speakers to the bottom wiring harness labeled speaker output. Once you've connected your audio system to the subwoofer amplifier using one of these methods, it's time to set up the subwoofer amplifier. First, connect your subwoofer to the amplifier by connecting a speaker cable from the red and black binding post marked speaker and running the cable to the subwoofer location. We generally recommend setting the power switch to the auto position. This will enable the amplifier to automatically begin powering the subwoofer when it senses a signal from your whole house audio system. It will also allow the amplifier to go into standby mode when the audio system is off and the subwoofer is no longer needed. As a side note, the LFE in XO bypassed input is typically only used with audio signals that have already had a crossover applied to them, such as subwoofer or LFE output on your home theater receiver. Once everything is connected, you can power on the zone and the subwoofer. We recommend playing some music that you are familiar with through the zone while you're adjusting the settings on the subwoofer amplifier. Start with the crossover knob set to about 80 Hz and the level knob at the minimum setting. Slowly increase the level knob until the subwoofer output is roughly the same level as the speakers in your room. Now adjust the crossover knob to achieve the most seamless overall sound within the zone. Your subwoofer amplifier is now ready for use. No additional adjustments should be required. Your subwoofer volume will automatically increase or decrease along with the main speakers in your zone as you adjust the volume level for that zone. 